Well, I've got some boys in the arena at the moment. We're just kind of chilling out, taking it easy. It's mid-afternoon. Just hanging out on the stairs. Ronnie's off to the side. Him and Luke were kind of goofing off for a little bit. But now they're not. Um, Springer and Vinny are good buddies. They haven't sort of left each other's side. Which puts these two back into good friend mode. Which is good. I've seen these two together. They've been good buddies for a while. Roni's the only one so far that's uh, having himself a roll and scritchy scratch. Look at him go. A thousand bucks! One more. Oh, let's see Vinny's coming over. Could have made two grand. That's not the case today. A little chitty chat with the boys. That's a long talk. Luke says I'm getting in on this. <laughs> Roni's out. It's a springer, I'll meet you in the hallway. What's happening? You know it would be really fun if all four boys would play at the same time. But the thing is that uh, really only Vinny and Luke are the... are the uh, true players. Roni will play, but I wouldn't say that he's, uh, you know, all over that kind of thing. <laughs> These guys. Those two have just wandered off to the back together. I think Roni's looking for another place to roll. See? Dig, dig, dig. Be my roll again. Springer's wandered off with him, thinks maybe it's a good idea to hang around with uh, Roni since he's so calm compared to these two dingbats. Yep, he's gone down. <laughs> it's nice <clears throat> that uh, in an area like this, it's, you know, I mean, it's a big arena, but it's still relatively small, that these four can just sort of chill out. Oh. Springer's gone down too. What's he worth? 200 bucks? 500? Oh, Tony's out. Here it comes. It's got a little gas in the tank. Oh, look at that. I mean, he's gone down. <coughs> so Luke's the only one who hasn't rolled so far. We still got a little bit of slushy snow hanging out of the back there. Vinny's up. Shakey, shake, shake. Super bright today. Vinny's making a move. Tells Roni where to go. Looks like it's on like Donkey Kong, man. Let's do this. And off they go. Springer watches. Did Luke just win? Luke just won. How about that? Good job, buddy. Oh, now he's going to lose. Vinny says, I'm going to launch my left. Left leg coming. Left leg coming. Luke says, uh, how about my right? I could give you my right. <laughs> Good times. Just playing, just hanging out. Ronnie's <clears throat> come over here for a little relief. 
and the antics of the youngsters, even though he's the same age as Luke. Springer probably being the oldest, then Vinny. And uh, Luke and Roni are the same age, I believe. I thought I would talk briefly um, about some sort of unorthodox training or acclimation training for horses. Uh, because I do, you know, the video stuff and whatnot, I've got, these guys are getting close. Um, I have a drone that I, you know, regularly use to take footage of areas and the horses and stuff. And I've always wanted to make sure that the horses that I have are pretty acclimated to drone stuff. So Springer being new, <clears throat> Vinny being here and I haven't really messed around much with it. Uh, I thought I'd bring it in. Luke and Roni are fine. They don't care at all about drones and flying around them unless you fly right on top of them and then then they get all, uh, you know, the wind of the of the uh, drone. Wow. This looks like an uncomfortable fight. Oh, Luke, you're gonna lose, buddy. Yeah, might as well eat some snow while we're at it. That makes sense. Huh. Weird. Anyhow, so, um, you know, the, the idea that you can acclimate your horse to all kinds of things, tarps and bags and boxes and snow falling off roofs and whatever. Um, one of the things that I also do is uh, do the drone stuff. So I thought I'd take the drone out and uh, <laughs> see what I could do with them. They didn't really care that much, but I'll put up some footage of that. Vinny got told, or not Vinny, Roni got told. Says you're going the wrong way, man. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And he's telling Springer where to go. So we'll go the other way. Right, buddy. Oh. So it's on again. I'm not that keen. I actually can't back up anymore. I'm zoomed right out. I'm not in. <clears throat> they are right next to me. Good job, Vinny. Way to make them go. 
And all I want to do is just to sit here peacefully. Hey man, you're, you know, no, take off. Go, all right, come on, one, one scratch. One scratch. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, so, you know, when doing the uh, drone work, it's super important um, stay safe. Uh, meaning that uh, if you ever think, hey, that's not a bad idea, I'd like to do that, and you get yourself a little drone camera to take some interesting footage of your horses, um, I can't stress enough how much you have to consider the safety. Uh, you know, you don't want to fly your drone too close to them. Uh, too low, uh, right behind and stuff like that. The I picture the worst case scenario being that the uh, the horse's tail would flick upwards, and he would get caught in the rotors of the uh, drone, and uh, freak him out, and probably destroy the drone. So, but I haven't seen a horse yet that hasn't sort of made it through the uh, acclimation process of having a drone fly around them and then not freak out, kind of get back to their normal behaviors. Um, it's a lot of, it's the same thing that we do on the ground, you know, as people or whatever. Look at these two. They're back. Um, where you're using the pressure and, and release uh, sort of process. And then when you get them to where they'll sort of follow the drone a little bit, uh, you really have some gold there because it means that they're trying to drive it or draw to it, one or the other, and either are good. And uh, so when you get that, when you get that done, um, then generally they'll really calm down around it and, and you can get some very, very cool footage of horses with drones. Where are you going, Ronnie? This is wherever these guys aren't goofing off this whole time. Eating snow. Springer's just chill. Very chill horse as you guys saw. If you uh, are following along on this channel, if you're new, check out yesterday's video. Uh, put him in with Gracie and he's just a real chill horse. He's really quiet and calm. Quite steady. Good for her because she's kind of a bit of a basket case in some cases. Hmm. Very smart horse though. A lot of energy. He brings her down. It's nice. It's snow cone time. Let's see if anybody yawns. Hey, a little bit of brain freeze. Is it going to happen? I don't know. Oh. Look at these two. What are they thinking, eh? How much, how much snow can you eat? I can eat more snow than you can. Whoop! Hey, buddy! What are you doing there, good looking? Look at those eyeballs. Bam! Oh, he's a big yawn. You got brain freeze going on. What's happened? Hi! He's right next to me. Just hanging out. Is that a shot? <laughs> I don't know, do you think it's safe hanging around with me? Is it good company? Get some scratches? It's just a little bit of a crusty. Stop moving, I can't lean that far. I don't know, it's alright, I guess. <laughs> Mr. Sleepy just generally just takes it easy. Especially compared to these guys. Anyhow, so drone footage is fun. You just have to be practiced and skilled. Don't mess up. Don't get too close. Be careful. That's about it. Right, Springer? You didn't care at all. You just had Vinny chasing you around. Yeah. What is it? I'm not kidding, he's like a foot away from me. It's a wide angle lens, so I really gotta come back and you can see my knee right here. But he's right here. Hi. 
It's a good boy. I have to admit, after taking um, taking Gracie out and then coming back for him, or did I do him first? I can't remember now. I think I put Gracie back first. And I went to come get him. He was really uh, keen to be with her. i got to admit. Here comes Vinny. And uh, he wasn't as good of a listener as he usually is. He's kind of more keen to do what he wanted to do, whatever it might have been. He wasn't really paying too much attention to me, uh, which was interesting. I didn't really expect that. He's usually very quiet and listens in. Hi, Vinny. What's up, buddy? Oh, no. Don't breathe on the lens. Do you need a scritchy scratch, too? What is it? Tell me now, Vineyard. What do you want? Nothing? Shove off! So, um... Uh, yeah, I mean, in those cases, you just say, that's okay, let's just fill that gap. Listen up, a little backwards, forwards, a little sideways, things like that. Get them moving around and they just get back with you and stop thinking about what they want to do. It's gonna fight them. Rawr. Rawr. Luke, get him, buddy. Nom, 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 nom. This is my patch of snow. Take off. Bite. <laughs> Vinny lifts his leg up. I'll kick you, I promise. But I'm gonna need some snow now. Uh, anyways, so yeah, Springer was good in the end. It was nice. It's good for him. Um, they got along really well. In the end, left them out for a little while. They're fencing. Stab, stab, stab. See, horses do this to humans all the time. Oh, they're so fast, though. So fast. I don't usually get to be this close to these guys when they're doing this. It's hard to catch the action close up. Springer's already long gone. <laughs> Um, so that was the end of Springer stuff there, and then back to drone stuff. It's just, it's just a really good idea, I think. Just another thing that you get to kind of get them used to and, and, uh, pull them through. It's a little more passive if you're off to the side just controlling it. There's something to be said for being the, for coming out into the herd and playing around. And, uh, having them, you know, hang out. You could have them on a lead rope. In the beginning, I just do the Liberty stuff and pressure and release. Out them try to follow it, things like that. Usually works out really well. In fact, I haven't seen a fail yet. These guys are fun. I am a little low on time though. Pretty busy day today. And uh, so this might be our action for the day. Oh, it's Roni that's over there. Hi, buddy. I thought you were over on the other side. I don't know why. What's going on, big guy? <laughs> bump, bump, bump. I'll usually let him kind of bump the camera a little, touch the camera, because it's around so much that I want them to be super acclimated to it. So I could come in real close if I wanted to. Yeah, zoom in on that eyeball. And then uh, come in a little closer. Wow. Oh, too close, won't focus. <laughs> they don't have that kind of lens. Um, get them used to things, you know? Bring it around. Play with it. Bump. That's him, not me. All right, buddy. Now I'm backing up, so he's coming forward. Uh, what do we do with these two, eh? What do we do? Don't hit the camera anymore. No, he's literally right here. Um... <laughs> 
See, it seems to be a bit of a stretch sometimes when they reach out like that. They almost do a bit of a yawn. Somebody had mentioned that sometimes yawning could be uh, a bit of, not maybe not necessarily aggression, but a bit of a dominance. I'm not kidding. This guy is literally right here. You're keeping me warm, i got to admit. It's a little chilly out. Um, and there might be something to be said for being able to yawn right next to another horse's ear, like that. Oh, looks made a move. It's moving forward. Oh, jeez. Oh, there it is. There it is. Vinny made a step back. Luke's uh, making a little progress with Vinny. Gotta admit. Anyhow. Thanks, Springer, for keeping me toasty, buddy. It's Mr. Fuzzy Years here. Yeah, stop bumping the camera, would you? And that's Roni in the background. Hey, over there, what's he doing? Eating snow? Thinking of rolling again? Possibly. I don't know. So. Unorthodox training things. I had somebody say that they would never ever do drone training. I thought, why not? But it's scary. You know, some things are weird and scary, and you, you think that maybe you'd ruin your horse if you did something to make them permanently afraid of something. I think that's almost impossible. <clears throat> you can always get them through. If you can fix them, you can wreck them. If you can wreck them, you can fix them. The one way street here. Even if I were to fix them, I could wreck them too. I could smash a drone into them, and that would wreck them. And then I could fix them again. Not that I would do that, but you know what I mean. Yes, Springer, my good buddy. How's it going? Roni had another roll. Good for him. Hi, buddy. It's so peaceful. It's such a nice experience to be able to just chill out, hang out, watch horses. Hey, don't chew on that. That's not cool. That's not a good experience. I was just saying how nice it was. And then you started chewing on the stairs. Right here. Right there. No chewing. Yeah. Just toddlers, they just gotta put their mouths on everything. Get him, Luke! Way to go. Oh, it's a, it's snow eating time. Got it. How did they even communicate that? And he's like, I'm out, I'm eating snow. Looks like, oh yeah, I'm eating snow. I'm eating more snow than you. I'm a better snow eater. Okay. <clears throat> I gotta leave it at this because I really do have some other things that I need to get on with. So, thanks for watching everybody. I'll let these guys chill out for a little longer and bring them in. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow. Hopefully it's interesting what oh there's Zeus. Zeus is out. Forgot that I let him out. There he is. <clears throat> oh. Vinny says I'm gonna launch the left. Oh Look, he won't do it. Oh he bumped his butt up into his chin. But he wouldn't kick, see? That's that to me is just good manners. A good good you know, a good play horse. Nothing wrong with that. Good buddies. Okay, that's it. Now, for Sherzies. As much as I'd love to sit out here all day and do this, I cannot. <laughs> do you feel safe with me or something? Luke's looking over. This is Springer's just coming even closer. Okay, I really do have to go. Okay, you guys, see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you've got any thoughts or questions on these guys. And uh, if anybody else has done any drone work, let me know. How did it go? What did you think? Um, I'll see you guys again tomorrow.